to the twist and turn from the road to gold. A rare visit with the men who hope to represent America on the Olympic gymnastics team. We're taking it to the mat tonight with Team USA and ABC's Matt Gutman. Ah, look at that work on the pummel horse. Okay, maybe not so impressive. The bucket is basically like a gymnast version of a kiddie pool. I graduate to scissor kicks and a nearly paralyzing attempt at a handstand. Not your typical day at the gym, but on the other hand, these men training me aren't your typical heartthrobs. They are America's elite acrobats, the U.S. men's gymnastics team. USA. These are the guys hoping to win gold at the Olympics, spending 30 plus hours a week in the gym, thousands of tumbles, spins, jumps, and ooh, falls. Does it hurt to land on your on your arms like that all the time? I mean, not for this guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, he's no, got some when padding. I, well, when I like first started like doing like crazy like flips on P-bars, it, it definitely hurt a lot. CJ, you have, yeah, yeah, CJ's wrist. got this wrist thing, yeah. wow. Yeah, my wrists kind of take a lot of brunt, you know, from my grips, they slide up, I put some like skin lube on there and just kind of let it rub, you can see I have a little split. A few months back, the team posted this photo to Instagram and they nearly broke it. Muscles, beach, and a perfect backdrop combined for a flawless 10 in the world of viral photos. Oh, this is a great picture, like, wow, it's a great background. Let's post it, and then people like, like freaked out about it. Picked up not just on social media, but also on media juggernauts, including the latest issue of People on Newsstands Friday. This isn't the first time social media made household names out of Olympians. Remember gymnast Michaela Maroney's unimpressed look? And during the Sochi Olympics, Johnny Quinn had to famously burst through a bathroom door that got helplessly stuck. He taught me how to do it in case it ever happened to me. An eclectic bunch of 16 athletes fighting for five spots. The youngest, 19. The oldest is 29. All of them crave Olympic glory. We don't go into this competition expecting anything but greatness. We're training to be the best in the world. Danelle, you're the guy, the only guy in this gym right now who's won a, an Olympic medal. How much pressure is on you right now? I don't think that gives me any pressure at all, honestly. It's a completely clean slate. Crazy thing is, most can't and don't make a living off of the sport. Three of them, including Akash Modi, are still in college. What are you, mechanical engineering? Mechanical engineering, At yeah. Stanford? Yes. And you have a midterm today? Yes, I do. <laughs> how, how do you juggle the studying and the training? Uh, it's, it's really just time <laughs> management. How do you decide the team? What are the parameters? Um, that's really difficult. It's yeah. a puzzle piece a, a little bit because we're looking for uh, the five guys that uh, fit best together on the events to maximize the team score. Unlike its female counterpart, the men's team has only once taken home the all-around gold medal. What do you think your chances are at Rio? I think we've got an incredible chance. You know, we have so much depth here when you look at these young guys, you know, so they're not only pushing themselves to try and get onto that team, but they're pushing us to be better as well. It's Team USA, you know, we're going to war. Team USA against Japan, China, Australia, whoever it is, so on and so forth, you know, so by us working together as a unit makes us all better. Many of these men have been on the job battling the rings hanging on the bars for over 20 years. Others, like John Orozco would tell you, they catapulted into it by chance. But the kids in the neighborhood, mm, not as supportive. Kids are not <laughs> very nice at all, especially because in the Bronx, gymnastics is not a very well-known sport right. to begin with. And, you know, everyone thinks it's a girl sport and it's feminine. And it's not like what society says the norm is for men. And so I struggled a little bit through middle school and high school. These days, it's mostly injury that they struggle with. Microfracture, pair on my ankle. Um, I blew out my right forearm, had five surgeries on that to get it fixed. Uh, torn some ligaments, had those repaired. I've had 10, to 10 surgeries total now. Like I said, gymnastics is very hard. It's all yeah, gymnastics if you hard. don't like it, man, you, you are crazy. Even if you that. like it, you're crazy. But... As we learned, when McDreamies are down, they do abs. Eating yeah. bonbons? In, <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe the first move. But yeah. <laughs> when, when you're injured, there's so many things that you can work on when you're doing gymnastics that there's no real reason why you shouldn't come into the gym and do something. Like, 
Unless you hurt your shoulder and your Achilles, and then that's and just... Then you, then you can just do core. core, I guess, yeah. It's a team that keeps on fighting, and so it seemed a perfect fit for one of them to star in the Gym Class Heroes music video for the fighter before the London Games in 2012. Orozco was their star. That video, which was viewed over 44 million times, has become the anthem for Team USA. You look at all the components, talent-wise, hard work, organization, and you put all those things together, and we have the best in each of those areas. Um, you know, the last part of it that I think we have more of than any other team is heart, and we fight to the end no matter what happens. Some of us have heart and nothing else. What the princes of the pummel horse can do effortlessly leaves me awed and really winded. You're gonna pick your left leg up, and you're just gonna pick, that's it, that's all I want to see you do. Grab the right arm, just jump off the front. Ah, almost. <laughs> Let's try that again. I believe. Really? Yes. There you go. There you go. Nice. For Nightline, I'm Matt Gutman, Colorado Springs, Colorado.